Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is David Penn's Inversion Holder. Before we do this review, I'd like you to like and subscribe, please. Do that right now. Press the little bell icon for when I go live at random times. Follow me on Instagram at Real Magic Review because I've been waffling on loads in the daytime uh, in my Instagram stories. And, uh, and going live on there as well. And of course, come and watch a live show here most Thursdays. Uh, that's why you've got to press a little bell icon uh, next to the subscribe button because sometimes I can't do it and it's good to know. Right, oh, and I always forget, the main thing is go and have a look at onlinemagic.co, my membership site. Over 800 videos, live sessions every week, special guests, and it's an absolute bargain. Everybody loves it. There's never, ever any negative feedback. Um, I'm sure it's not perfect, but have a look, onlinemagic.co. This is a godsend for me. <laughs> I have messed around with different types of holder before. And for those of you unaware of what this is, this is a way of holding out a final load. Now, by final load, I mean if you're doing the cups and balls, a chop cup, um, and even sponge ball routine, which I did it with. David talks about Alan Hudson's um, chop glass, which I think is great. And, you know, a lot of people... I've forgotten about this to be able to do a chop cup walking around tables without having to carry the cup around with you is great and this allows you not to have to carry a final load with you and uh, the final load is the, the last surprise bit when you the, you've got a ball that disappears ends up in your pocket ends up back under the cup and then there's a bit of fruit or something underneath for those of you again new to the game the problem with walking around well with the cup when and this is not a review in, of alan Hudson's chop glass but that gets over that thing it's something you put over a spectator's glass but anything you have to carry the cup with you which can be fine if you're only doing that at each table but you also have to carry the final load with you and if you're wearing a suit it can start looking a bit kind of that awful look of having loads of stuff in your pockets which I've always got and I'm trying to get older over trying to get older I am no effort required there this isn't what I thought it was I should have guessed by the name of it but when you if you don't want your final loads in your pockets you tend to have them on a safety pin on your suit sort of hanging down on the kind of tail bit of your suit on the back of your suit which is fine for when you're on stage but it, there's you've got to really work at the positioning of that making sure it doesn't get exposed and again when you're working close up it's a nightmare it, it, stuff that goes in your belt loop and all that kind of stuff can very very easily um get get seen <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> can be seen. That's the one, isn't it? David Penn has solved a problem with this. This, hence the name, sticks up from your belt. So you've got it sort of down your trousers a little bit, but sticking up in the small of your back. And I tested this. I walked around the trade show. I didn't get footage of it. I walked around the trade show for three hours with this on. I used it a couple of times, but I just wanted to see if things would become dislodged, things would be seen. Nobody saw anything. Nobody mentioned anything. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was a hot old day. It didn't stick out. And I'm not a slim, slim bloke. So, you know, it's it was kind of there. But because it was designed to go in the small of your back, it just stayed there. And it held a piece of fruit in it without any problem. Nothing came undone. Nothing kind of fell out um, or became dislodged. And that is really rare. It's It just felt like it was going to stay there forever, which it was. You wouldn't want it there forever. The fruit would get all manky and everything. But and then I used it a couple of times. Now, when you use this, when you've got a normal load, you usually go into the pocket and have a justification for going into the pocket to grab the final load, or you, you, your hand comes down and you grab it from underneath the uh, edge of the suit, which, again, is totally fine in certain situations, but really not practical in walk around a lot of the time. This is the way it's positioned, but, again, you're still going to have to be aware of angles a lot because when people aren't really watching you and they see you, you're going to be sort of reaching behind to grab it. Now that's a, what you've got to think about anyway, that isn't a criticism of the prop itself. So this doesn't answer that problem, but what it does do is it puts it in a nice secure place. It's gonna feel weird when you first do it because when you grab it, your, your hand's going way further out the way than it would if it was going to a pocket or down here. But very soon you'll realize that nobody's looking because of the routines you're doing anyway, and you get very quick at it. So you lean forward, bang, and it's there. I really, really like this. It's the what it's what you want from a magic product like this is it answers a question a, a problem it solves a problem even would be a 
better way to say it, wouldn't it, Steve? It solves a problem, genuinely. And I've always liked David's stuff. I think he's someone that is so experienced. And when you... I've just finished Jamie Allen's book and, you know, David Penn was... You realise how experienced he is in, in that side of things, the illusions and and the production of magic as well, that when he brings something out, it tend, you know it's going to be pretty good, or I do, so I kind of trust it. And I love Pie Revelations, and, and I'll be talking about lots of other, lots more of his stuff. So it's easy, this, once you learn it. You need to rehearse, you need to practice. It does, because it is in there so tight, and you can loosen it, you can play with it or make it even tighter, depending on what you're putting, it in, putting in there. It... You, you sometimes need to give it a good old wedge and it, when the fir your first couple of times you do it, it feels a bit awkward. So you do have to practice it, but once it's there, it's just, it feels a dream to work with. And I, I think it's great. And again, TCC are very good at making what they make. So it's just it's gonna last for years. Nothing's gonna happen to it. It feels solid. Unlike so many of the rubbish shoulders I've bought in the past. So thank you, uh, TCC, for sending that to me. That's the inversion holder by David Penn. Any questions, put them below. And, uh, or email me steve at onlinemagic.co and I will answer them on a live show usually on Thursdays at 5. So thanks very much. Like and subscribe. And now off you go. Have a look at onlinemagic.co and look how joyous that is. Cheers.